The Canon AV-1 was introduced in 1979 and was Canon's entry into the consumer point-and-shoot SLR market. The camera is auto-exposure only, which was a huge market at the time. It competed against the Nikon EM, Pentax ME and the Olympus OM-10. On the right of the top plate is the wind-on and the shutter release, which has a lock to prevent you accidentally firing the shutter release by mistake. Next to the shutter release is the mode dial. The setting B is where you press the shutter release down and the shutter opens and then you release your finger and the shutter closes. A sixtieth of a second is for when you want to synchronise with flash. Then you have A for aperture priority where you set the aperture and the camera will set the shutter speed. And there are settings here for when you want to use the self timer. On the right hand side of the viewfinder is a needle showing the shutter speed. Try and keep the shutter speed above a thirtieth of a second so that you don't get any camera shake. On the left hand side of the top plate is this button which allows you to change the ISO setting. This button here is the battery check. When you press it down the needle in the viewfinder will move if the battery has enough power. On the front left hand side of the camera is this button. What that does is when you've got a subject that's got a very bright background, if you press that button in, it will increase the exposure by a stop and a half so that your shots aren't underexposed. On this side is the battery compartment. Just here is the button for removing the lens. Press in and rotate. And you can see the Canon FD mount. Although the mount is discontinued, there's a huge range of lenses available for this fitting. On the bottom of the camera you can see the tripod socket, the rewind release catch for when you want to rewind the film and this cover is removed when you want to fit one of the auto winders that was available. It takes the same auto winder as the Canon A1 and the Canon AE1. Loading film into the camera is quite simple. Grab the rewind knob and pull it up and that releases the back. You'll find the eyepiece cover gets in the way when you're opening the back of the camera. Pop the film in there like that and push down the rewind knob, pull the film across to here and then you have to just push it into the little notches in the take up spool there. Once you've got that in I'd recommend winding on a frame before you close the back. Once again as you close the back you can see this eyepiece cover really does get in the way. Close it off, wind on a couple of frames and you're ready to take your first picture. This is a well-designed, well-built 35mm SLR camera. It's only aperture priority, and because of the lack of exposure compensation, it won't be great for colour slide film, but it's fine for colour negative. And you've got access to a huge range of uh, very good quality lenses for it.